What is going on? My reefing fan, March here. This is Fragbox TV, and we got in some new corals. No video is complete. This little blue goby, he's just like, this is a blue. Uh, we all see how we do. Bring it over here, Wataguan. We need the bin. This episode of Fragbox TV is brought to you by the world's most beautiful nano reef tanks. Start your reefing adventure at reefcasa.com. Okay, before we jump into it, um, September 7th, next Thursday, if anyone wants to meet up, I will be in London, United Kingdom, at a store called Advanced Aquarium Consultancy. I don't know if anyone's going to come meet up. I'm coming there straight from the airport. So, like mid afternoon ish, 12, 1 o'clock, your time, I'll be there. AAC. If no one wants to come, I guess I'm just going to get day drunk with Paul, the owner. Um, what's up, level two? Me? This, yeah, you. You're level two. Actually, after That's today, it, you'll, be, you'll be at level 2.1 because we're going to unbox. Um, some new corals that we just got in from Australia. We will give Mr. Leandro a chance here. What do we need? Frag. No, not frag. We, have, we need razor blades, gloves, gloves. Yeah. Good catch. After visiting our friends over at Advanced Aquarium Consultancy, I'm actually heading to Poland to visit the factory of Aquaforest. So if you want to see where these are made and get a little bit more information, I'm going to go there. And then across Poland to another factory, and it's funny because this is called Reef Factory. This is also made in Poland. We're gonna go visit them. Finally, we're gonna end the trip with a visit to Portugal and gonna go see a wholesaler of corals there and possibly another store. Gonna go to Lisbon and finish in Porto. Okay, Skalpol. Who knows where that's from, that line. If you can get it, comment below. Skalpol, check it out. Walk-in special. Buy two, get one free, all 10 to $30 frags. We are so overstocked. That's all of these, everything you see. Buy any two, you get the third one free. This is a walk-in only special. Um, we just have so, so many, so much overgrown from the summer. Um, I keep saying um today. We're not as busy in the summer months. We don't sell as much, but the corals don't know that. They just keep on growing. They don't care if it's summer or fall, spring or winter. So. At this time of the year, we're overloaded with corals. So this is to help you, but also to help us. The bins, would you like to do the honors of opening the first box? Yes. L-Dog, okay, open. His very first box he's ever opened of corals. He was just asking if they were frozen. Uh, usually with your hands. That's it, that was the very first, you'll never open another box again as your first box. This box took your box virginity. How do you feel? Feels good. Feels good, huh? My first box. 2.1, you're a real man now. Okay. Okay. He was just asking me, do these come frozen? I'm like, no, we do not we do not transport corals cryogenically. He's like, you can't freeze them and then bring them back to life? I wish. Um, okay, idea. what do you think? Take one out. Let's see what's up. Ta-da! Uh -huh. What kind of coral is that? Oh, this is a good test. Come on. You fragged them before. Mushroom. No, let's kick the bag out again. Mushroom, you're a mushroom. <laughs> no, remember one of the first ones we did? It kind of sounds like a guy's name, like your friend. Rhymes with pumpkin. Franklin, shit, kid. No, it's not. Not Franklin. Duncan. Duncan does not rhyme with pumpkin. That kind of. Yeah, bumpkin. Pumpkin. pumpkin Duncan. Yeah, it rhymes. Yeah. One of the first ones you fragged. That's how they come. Oh, these guys. Yeah, Duncan. Uh, Duncan. I don't remember. Yeah, these are now renamed Franklin corals. Beautiful. Name. Okay, yeah. let's let's open up the Franklin coral. See how we do. Bring it over here. What I want. We need the bin. His very first unboxing, unbagging of a coral from overseas. You're gonna remember this moment ten years from now. Forever. Okay. How's it feel? Talk us through it. it was, uh, What's going it on great. in your young seventeen-year-old mind as you like uh, as you unbox a Franklin coral? I feel like a okay. master fragger. Yeah, master fragger. You're fucking fired. It's upside down. Look at the piece. <laughs> put the garbage here. I really am disgusted with how much plastic we use here in the store. I am not oblivious to the fact. Um, it is a very, very plastic intensive business. Lots to bring them in and lots to go out. And I like to show you guys and uh, the good and the bad. So this is part of it. I haven't found a better way to ship them. It's how they come for better or for worse. That one, what would you say that is? What kind of coral? Uh, Franklin. Franklin, yeah. Okay, guys, please. It's called Duncan. So this is the branching, really branching. Some of them are a little bit more, I would say less branching. So all Duncans are branching. 
This one is the cool, is my favorite type because it comes with that really funky green, almost highlighter green um, skeleton. And I love this coral so much, I put it in every single tank that I have that I'm allowed to design. Let me show you on our Red Sea Reef for 250. Franklin coral, no, sorry, Duncan. I got a nice big colony there and it's so open and happy that you can't even see the skeleton, you just see the polyps, but underneath it looks very much like the one I just showed you. Other news, our cabbage looks great, so you guys were right, it was shedding, and maybe it's bigger. This thing doesn't grow much, because I love Duncan so much. They're just so easy to keep, and they almost look like blue anemones. I got one there, got another one there through my dirty glass, and another one that's fallen down right back there. So I like it so much, I have three different varieties in this tank. And it looks like this box is probably all Franklin coral. Yeah. I wonder why it's called Duncan. I think it's a short form of the Latin name Duncan next and I was right. Look, Duncan Passamia Axifuga. Dun Duncan Passamia Axifuga. Okay. Um, well, we're going to rename this to Franklin Passamia Axifuliandro. Now, we just brought in a shipment of Indonesian corals. They are amazing. Maybe you saw that video I did with Alejandro, the Colombian, El Señor Alejandro. Why are we bringing in another shipment of corals right now when we clearly have no room in the tank? It's absolutely full. And we just got one not even a week ago. Um, the way it works with corals is, one, a supplier will email and say, hey, I know that you really like Acans or Duncans. They kind of get to know you over, over the years. And they'll shoot us an offer with what they have and that'll really help to entice because they don't always have it and stores all around the world and wholesalers are going to be trying to get those same corals. So sometimes when there's availability, you just got to pull the trigger and we'll make the room. Um, number two is CITES. So for permits, they expire. They're only good for a certain amount of time and for a certain number of pieces. So if we have CITES, which is the cent uh, Convention of International Trade of Endangered Species, you have to use them within a specific Time frame. You listening? I'm talking to you. I'm just kidding. Um, so you, oh, you have to use them within a specific time frame. If we're getting close to expiring, again, I'm going to be forced to make room. So if we get really, really full in here, which I expect we're going to be, what I'm going to do is start putting stuff in here. We're shutting down this tank to do a completely new design of this setup. I'm going to be uh, taking out all the racks and building. Well, I'm going to let Tia escape this very cool sort of new flat. This is going to become a working. SPS grow out slash massive shallow display tank where you can like enjoy as a display gravel and rock no more rocks way way more natural I'm going a completely different direction with acro instead of trying to grow them on rocks I'm gonna make a super natural looking anyways I'll, I'll talk to you guys more about that one as we build it when I come back from Europe that's gonna be one of the first things on the agenda okay wow that's quick you're almost done your first box this is a small order only six boxes Typically, I would say when we're bringing in a shipment, um, it's closer to 12. On the bigger side for us would be 15. I think the biggest I've ever done is maybe 21 or 22 boxes of corals. That's a lot. Just so you have a reference, the one that we brought in the other day was 150 colonies or 150 pieces. And that was in six boxes. That's about as much as I can fit in the car. No, actually I lied. I can fit 10 boxes in the car. Water is gonna go in the tank. Really? No, 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 the water is gonna go out the door. Oh God, this look at this kid, he looks homeless today. Look at his pants. He's home with his, his socks, socks and sandals. In your baggy baller pit, you really look homeless, man. You're always I'm running late. <laughs> what do we have here? This ain't Franklin. Who's this? This is not Franklin. Where's Franklin? Oh, uh, this another is, guy. It's another guy. This is Franklin's friend. Yeah. His name is Jimmy. No, that is called an Acan Encanada. Uh, very aggressive, but very beautiful type of Acan coral. And Australia has some of the nicest. What I'm going to do is put him here with these other Acan you see right here, Encanadas. And what I do now is start to organize stuff sort of based on species price uh, price we'll figure out later actually because i'm not sure yet so that's kind of an art on its own is figuring out what to charge it's going to be based on um, experience you know what i think people will pay time of the year what we paid that's a beautiful piece wow very like nice it. chalice yeah so those ones will sting other corals we want to give them a little bit of mm -hmm. space duncan i mean corn. franklin they're all good together yeah they're, they're, nice. yeah, they're all buddies so we're going to give these guys some space. So we're going to keep working through these. We'll open some boxes and then we'll uh, make in a mess in here. These ones you just opened are all called A-cans. If you want to stick mm -hmm. them right around there, we'll start to make maybe a pile. Yeah. And this one is called a long tentacle plate coral. So 
These look really good. We got lucky with this one. This was delayed 16 hours. I'll just show you what a long tentacle plate coral normally looks like. Um, but so far, as you can see, the water is really clear. It may have not been that case with uh, hard corals. This is a long tentacle plate coral as well. Um, this is way too close for a very expensive acanto. You see in the videos, I'm constantly adjusting and moving stuff um, when they might be too close to touching. But yeah, we got very lucky. Man, we get lucky all the time. You may have seen the other video where I had just mounted this stuff up higher because I saw a store in the States burnt to the ground. So it does look a little cluttered, but at least all the electrical is up. And not even a week after the skimmer that was here, I've taken it out, but the skimmer that was here went buck wild and poured water all over this. So if that was there, would have been very, very bad. Um, so we just get lucky all the time with stuff like that in the store. Lucky in general, lucky with the business, good timing. I keep telling you guys I'll do a video on how to open one of these stores. People are always asking us for advice. Suppliers, that's something we don't share. But timing has been good too. Oh, these are looking really nice. Some Lobophilias, really great color on these. And just as Leandro asked me, do these things ever die during shipping? In that very moment, I opened the first one that appears to be DOA. Oh, where is it? This one here. Yeah, that one is definitely a goner. So it looks like a little flower pot. Hmm, you know what? Might be a tiny bit of life left in it. Could just be bleached. I am going to give it a shot. I would say there's a 10% chance that's going to live. It does happen. Um, that's one so far. There may be a couple others in here. So never a good thing. But this is sort of why I can't price everything out just yet because I have to see um, how the shipment comes, how it looks, and then that all kind of works into the pricing. So we will stick them somewhere in here just to kind of relax and see how he looks. Um, what was I saying about suppliers? Yeah, we don't share them. And people are often surprised and then we get so many people asking and emailing. And uh, I thought it would go without saying, like if there's any business, would you ever walk into, I don't know, would you walk into that Greek place over there and say, hey, where do you buy your chicken? Or the dispensary, ask them where they buy their marijuana or I don't know. It's just to me, I would never walk into a store or email a store and say, hey, can I have a list of your suppliers? Um, or you know that trip you did to Indonesia? Can you tell me all of them? Now, I'm happy to share that stuff, but it would be for a fee. Now that's not, that becomes consulting. You want me to fly down to Texas and spend some time with you and show you how to open a store like one of these and share my um, 13, 14 years of experience? Happy to do that. But these things cost the dinero. But I was saying as well, we have been very lucky. Um, the store in general, there were some hard times. So there was a time um, right before COVID where Indonesia actually banned the export of corals. So we could not get any of this stuff. So it was very difficult for us, um, for a lot of stores out there. The, you know, I know of some wholesalers that they only brought in Indonesia. Not a true episode without the battery dying at least once. Australian corals are quite expensive compared to some of the other places in the world. Um, Vietnam, for example, there are a lot of places that are quite a lot less expensive. So I know of some wholesalers that went out of business during that time. And that's one of the things about um, this sort of business is that it is all at the mercy of regulation. So you could set up all of this overnight and then let's say for example Justin Trudeau who is the um, Emperor of Canada <laughs> if he decides or or the Liberal Party decides that corals are no longer going to be allowed to be imported into Canada then this is business isn't here anymore so things like that can change external governments um, you know different changes in in classification of corals and um, how they're listed as endangered like on CITES there's so many other corals out there that we do not touch we do not bring in so outside factors like that can can change a business overnight so we've been really lucky to be in a spot where we're able to do what we do um, this may not be possible 10 years from now this um, you know wasn't possible let's say Maybe 30 years ago, 25, 30 years ago, we weren't keeping these kind of corals. Like, it was a very, very different hobby. Even when I started to now, when people get back in, they're always telling me, man, there's so much. Okay, one, they're way more expensive, but there's so much more variety. We know so much more about keeping um, corals alive, even things like hard coral. Like, it's it was not as common as it is now and there definitely were not any nanotanks and there was most definitely no nanotanks keeping 
hard corals. That just wasn't wasn't even in the discussion. It wasn't a thing. Speaking about nano tanks, I try not to talk about them um, in every video. It is our line of tanks that we have designed here in the store. It's our brand, the Reef Casa line. So I try to break it up. If you notice, I'll do. I don't want the channel to become um, a complete showcase where I'm just shoving this down your throat every single episode. So I want to do a tutorial on fragging torches, on helping us with that, on moving a tank, on uh, unboxing, and then, you know, we'll squeeze in a little update, but I'm, I don't want the channel to become a, a marketing tool for that. I think that'll happen just naturally as the tanks progress in the store and as you continue to see sort of the, the cool things that we come out with because I'm, we're constantly innovating and trying to improve it and improve the line and come out with um, stuff that we would like to see in our own reef tanks. You know, I have mm, basically my entire personal savings invested into this. There's like 150,000 uh, bucks that's in it. So it's got to work. Like I don't have a choice now. We got to sell them. But that keeps me hungry and motivated to keep improving and just keeps them like at the forefront of my mind. But I just want to say the whole point of this little rant was that I don't want the channel to become a, a funnel for this. It has always been about the corals. It's always been about frag box and that's how we're going to run it. And thank you very much for the pagoda tips. I'm going to give this an iodine dip today and see if that helps. And let's continue. That was a good little sidetrack. Yeah, I like that. Let's continue unboxing. These are flower pots. You ever seen flower pots when they're open? No. This, this is how they look they close. Look Actually, I'm going to probably show you how to frag these today. Look at this is it open. Oh yeah. What a big difference, huh? Yeah. yeah, and this is the only nice. supplier that I've seen that ships these with these kind of black sort of little rubbery hockey pucks and they come upside down. I don't think it's necessary. It's a nice added touch. We bring in tons of flower pot from other suppliers. They don't use these. So if you guys are watching, we love them. But if they create a lot of extra work on your end, um, I wouldn't do them. Uh, and I probably would not order these again just because they, they're they basically frag size. So that's not really what we're looking for. I'm looking for medium and larger pieces that we can frag out because that's really where we're gonna make the money. But purchasing frags from overseas to pay the shipping and our time to go get them really doesn't make sense financially to bring in this little itty bitty piece. Now to bring in a big one and then make 10 frags out of it, yes, absolutely. So just a little bit of insight on why we will not order these again. Actually, to be honest, I don't remember ordering these. So it might have been a slip of the finger on the Excel sheet. These Lobos are looking fantastic. I think this supplier probably has some of the nicest Lobophilias and they are small, but to be honest, that's how I want Lobos because this is one of the trickiest ones to ship. It pops the bag all the time. Everyone in the store knows that when we're bagging Lobos, Lobo is short for Lobophilia. We have to bag it three to four times. So typically our standard, anything we're sending out in the mail. Oh, this is a good example. Dylan's sending some stuff right now. What are you bagging? Uh, Blastomusa. So we use our six inch standard bag. It's going to get bagged twice mm -hmm. along with everything else that's in here. Double bag always, no matter what. Some corals, quadruple bag. And Lobophilia along with Symphilia, if we have any. Yep, there's one. This symphilia here, they're just very skeleton-y, they're very bony, and they love, and they <laughs> tend to pop the bags, and not good. People, for, this is just this weird phenomenon where our customers get upset when the corals come dry. I don't know why, I don't know what's wrong with them, but needy customers, they expect stuff, you know, with water. I'm just kidding, if you guys don't understand my Canadian sarcasm, that was a haha. -ha. So yeah, what I was saying was the Lobos, very nice color, I do prefer them on the smaller side, easier to ship, and we can sell them to a lot more people. You guys are always hearing me talk about I'm the minification of, of corals, or at least that's what I'm looking for here in the shop because one, they're gonna be a lot less expensive. Something like this will retail for about 90 or $100 Canadian. So it's like $60 US. It's just so much easier to ship and everybody out there with the Fluvolivo or a Reef Casa, or a BioCube, or a Water Box, or Innovative Marine, all great tanks. Um, smaller tanks, this is way more uh, affordable and way more 
way more better suited, more suitable for a smaller tank as opposed to a massive, aggressive six inch across. Still beautiful, but just way less practical. And I find that people really want that garden effect. They want many of uh, certain corals. So instead of one big one, you know, uh, acans are a good example. We hardly ever, ever, ever sell a colony of, so these are the ones that are actually just coming out of the bags now. These are all beautiful acans. We hardly ever sell a colony like this. They would retail for about something like that. I would say 400 Canadian, 300 US for a colony. Even if I put them on the site, four to 500, let's say four to 500. They're not gonna sell, nobody buys them. But we do little frags, like these ones that I fragged a couple days ago at $100, these are all gonna sell out. And I think it's for that very reason, that people want variety, they want color, and they would prefer to have five pieces at 100 that are different colors instead of one big one. And then you can kind of do, man, I'm really sorry and embarrassed by how dirty this tank is on the glass, but this sort of uh, rainbow effect to get, you know, a pink and uh, an orange, a yellow, a, well, blue, I wanted to say blue, but we never, you ever seen an Acan in blue? Other than a Micromusa, I mean Acan Lord. Purpley blue, but not like a true, like blue, blue, like blueberry blue. Well, I saw one once from Vietnam. Vietnam actually gets completely different color Acans. They come in teals and blues and yellows, and they're completely different than anything out of any other ocean or country that I've seen. The Australian ones are by far arguably the nicest. So these are the ones that came in on our last order that I was really unhappy with the price. Not the quality, um, just we ordered WYSIWYG and they were not, very much not WYSIWYG, not what I ordered. So this new order of ACANs was kind of like to prove to myself that there are good suppliers out there for ACANs and I just want, I just had an ACAN sort of itch, like an ACAN craving because we were running super low in the store on ACAN corals. We haven't had really nice, um, I, you know, I'm always trying not to use the word rainbow, but I'm going to use it today, rainbow or ultra ACANs and these ones definitely did not disappoint. These are not WYSIWYG, so I did not pick these, but they know what's up and I guess they value our business, so they sent us straight fire. I can trust them that they're gonna send us good stuff. Maybe they know that we're gonna pick up the camera and give them some feedback, but so far this is a new-ish supplier for us, but really, really happy with it and we will continue to order for sure. Okay guys, this may be the nicest shipment of corals that we have ever got here at Fragmox. Let me show you some of these Acans. Um, couple real, real stunners. I mean, all of them, I don't, I don't want the other ones to feel bad. You're all beautiful in my eyes. But three of you are more beautiful than the other ones. And that's you. I might even dare call this a rainbow. You. Uh -huh. And hold on, we'll come back to those Scolies. And that one right there. I was just talking with the guys. Should I get a GoPro? strap it to my head and we could do like POV. It is a little POV, but even more POV. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna put the camera right on my forehead. It'd be like this. So I could, you know, like uh, work and then talk to you more instead of holding. I'm always working with one hand, it's tricky. Would you guys be interested in more of a POV style? Um, please, your dirty minds, don't go there. Not that kind of POV, okay? POV aquarium style. Does this work? I can't tell if it looks good. Let me know, comment. We're starting to put stuff into our acro tank because, uh, man, just there's absolutely no room. So, nice thing about the Radeons, so we used to have T5s on here, which are wicked strong lights. Really nice things about the Radeons, these are the Gen 6 XR30 Blue. That's a mouthful. I can control them. So look, if I, you know, I have acro on this side still until we do our, 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 our movement, I can just turn these up. But since I'm running LPS here, I'll just turn these down and do more blue. And you can really tailor the light and segment it based on the corals needs and specifications. Same thing goes for the pumps. I use the AI, AI, wow, good marketing. No, not AI, Neptune wave pumps throughout the entire store. Six on here, six on there, and six on there. It's my favorite pump for this application. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's these Neptune waves, which you can't even find right now, so I don't know why but very controllable. So you can just turn that one up or down, that one up or down. So what I'm gonna do is move them this way, 
lots of flow over here for the hard corals and then just turn it down. So that's something that you really couldn't do. Back in the day when we used halides, um, it was a lot of power. You had that 450 watt, 400 watt, you know, double ended Phoenix 20K. If you know, you know. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you will never know because the halides are dead. And then the real crazy guys, or maybe not crazy, really in ingenious guys, I'm gonna say, had their halides on a rail with a motor and what it would do is move across the tank so you'd have one halide and it almost create like a cloud effect and it would just basically go from this side to that side so you wouldn't need so many halide fixtures you wouldn't need so much power running because you know to put three or four over this tank your breaker is not even going to be able to handle that 400 watts per bulb that's the power of like three or four of these the heat was in, in, intense like I, I now when I look back on it I'm still not sure how we um, how we ran them super inefficient lots of electricity lots of heat bulky and fucking ugly as hell but with all that being said the corals looked incredible and I'm still chasing the growth I used to get under halide t5 combos some of the most incredible acro color and growth under that combination that I still uh, they're almost there but I, maybe I'm just reminiscing and maybe they're just nostalgic and I remember um, sort of better times the way Leandro 17 so these are the best years of his life he doesn't even know he's living them right now he's gonna look back at 25 and say damn the 20s were good and then you know as we progress he doesn't he doesn't even get it as he's going into uh, grade 12 starting Monday how do you feel Big year. Tuesday, yeah. big year, yeah. And then he's gonna drop out just like March did and uh, come work at Fragbox. No, I didn't drop out. I went to school, I went to the University of Toronto, St. George, downtown for life sciences because I was convinced I wanted to be a doctor. Did my undergraduate degree there. Uh, barely got by in physics, uh, chemistry and biology. Used absolutely zero of that education and went and opened up one of these almost uh, the month after I finished school, got my degree. I had a job lined up with, it was just given to me on a silver platter. My mom's friend was HR at Hydro One. Very nice job. Would have been making almost six figures right out of the gate um, for like a menial, whatever sort of desk job. And um, I said, I had started Fragbox sort of as a side hustle throughout university. I'd begun selling them and I said, let me just try this before I get into the nine to five. I don't do very good with um, people in positions of authority. I don't do good when people tell me what to do. So that's sort of been my whole life that's been with like teachers, um, uh, sometimes on on uh, just anyone any anyone I have a problem with position authority I just butt heads I don't know if that's the Sicilian side of me or just being a knucklehead but I said let me try let me try this before I give up my life to that and thankfully God willing this took off and uh, never looked back so it's a good story it is a story I... yeah I uh, that's exactly how it happened you didn't know it see it. you're learning you're learning more about your cousin by working here um, for some reason, I feel like I can yell at him because we're related. So Leandro is my mom's sister's sister. Yeah. My mom's sister's son. I was gonna say son. Yeah. Yeah. First cousins. Yeah. You know, you have your cousins, and then you have your first cousins. Yeah. Okay. What do we have here? Cuz. I can call you. Got a couple. I can first call you cuz, and then it's actually. What the heck is this? I don't know. Man, look at that. Whoa. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? You no, tell me. This is a uh, black sun coral that I haven't seen in a very long time. So I'm going to place them here quite gently. Black sun coral. Man, I think actually we have some sun corals in there. These other little itty bitty ones. So I'd like to order these small because you know me. Tiny. Tinier the better. Uh -uh. Uh, elegance. So typically, elegance are going to come like this. Massive. Look at this one. Look how cute that is. This would be a perfect addition for a smaller tank. That being said, let me take them and add them to our six gallon Pico uh, over here, which is, I think, my favorite tank in the store right now. I just love small tanks. Um, so let's add a little elegance. There would be no chance in hell of you adding an elegance to your an aquarium. Um, ah! The, the other size. Um, but look, man, this fish is really so funny. Look at him. Where is he? This little blue goby. He just like hangs out in your hand. Okay, now he doesn't want to do it, but 
I'm gonna stick this right under here and we'll let it chill. And if you're looking for a little elegance, you know where to find them. They're here, we can't ship them anywhere in the world except Canada. But I keep telling you guys in the video, if you need any hardware, you need Nero's, you want Primes, you want an Apex, you want Radeon's, you want Kessel, you want a Senai, you want anything that isn't alive, doesn't have a heartbeat, is not gonna require permits. We're more than happy to send any of this stuff to you in the mail. I've sent Tridents to Spain, I've sent Tridents to Morocco, I've sent Tridents to Taiwan, I've sent stuff all over the world. So if there's anything on the shelves that you need, more than happy to send you that stuff. And because you're part of the reefing fam, you are gonna get a very nice discount. So you just gotta email us, how do you do that? You get your keyboard or maybe your smartphone and go here, fragboxcorals at gmail.com. Just let me know what you're looking for with an address and I will get back to you. Let me show you some of the scolies. Holy moly, that is a scoli. Really incredible colors. Look at these things, beautiful. These are becoming more and more rare as time goes on. And I have a suspicion that these will not be in the hobby forever. And I think uh, I hear rumor of Duncan coral. I don't want to start rumors, but I'm going to. This is not a coral. We may we may not have these forever. I don't know. Actually, you know what? Not to be um, pessimistic. I'm a pretty optimistic guy. But the way it's looking for the oceans, it's you know what? It's kind of hard to know because you hear events of bleaching like in Florida where they're completely. You don't even have a girlfriend. Who the fuck are you texting? <laughs> um, you hear of. Um, like events like in Florida of massive coral bleaching. And then I hear from people that have gone diving in the Great Barrier Reef that they're, it's bigger and thriving and healthier than ever. So I guess it's in pockets and in different places around the world. I think overall, if, if we look at stand back and look at the bigger picture, it's not a very optimistic outlook for corals. Um, nature, I think in general, as population grows. You know what, let's not, let's not end on a sad note. Let's end on a happy note and let's keep it a little bit more positive. But I'm, I'm aware of these facts, you know, I just, I just like to be, um, I don't wanna be a hypocrite, you know, I do, I'm not oblivious to the fact that we are selling uh, live corals. It's not my fault that I've become obsessed with them. It's their fault, because if they weren't so pretty and fun to keep, guess what, I wouldn't keep them. Do you have a favorite piece? Oh, there's shrimp inside that box. Me, my favorite Yeah, yeah, as someone, okay, it's just getting sort of into it and you're learning a couple names here and there. About Do you remember the name? Acro. You can, I can, a can, a can. Yeah, you just gotta say it with kind of like a Jamaican a can. What a guanda, a can, rasta for These. That's what I remember them. What these? Oh, I didn't even touch on these. Look at the Bauer Bankies. Oh, these ones. I didn't yeah, these are like yeah, those fat a cans. These are called Bauer Bankies. Long tentacle plate corals. Okay, we're gonna let them chill and we will come back tomorrow. We'll pick up the camera and we'll see how they're looking and we'll do one of those kind of like uh, walkthroughs. We'll see you back here shortly. No video is complete without commentary from the Colombian. What do you think? Do you have a piece that you think is uh, amazing? Amazing. Amazing. Okay, this is gonna be nice. Yo. It has been fully open. Check out. These Aikens are look, great. Yeah, look at this. This one. Wow. Yeah. Crazy, huh? I like these two a lot. Yeah. The same one, right? More or less. This one's just nice, too. They're all nice. This is Aussie or Indo? This is Australia. Oh, well, no wonder. Yeah. These are from yeah. Down Under, That's mate. Very nice, too. Yeah. That's a beautiful piece. I always like yellows. Yellows, great. Oh, huge! I don't think there were any one Solid. dead. Really? Yeah. Leandro's in the basement right now. Fragging some Blastomus or Letty, okay. trying to get to level 2.2. Let's see. What did I call it? Uh, I forgot. Watch the video. Ganyopora? Yeah, something different, yeah. I was tired. <laughs> <laughs> Got some more here. Oh, that's interesting. Mushroom. Uh, that's a mushroom, right? Which one? Yes. yes. Mushy, 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 mushy. Look at scoly. Nice. Oh, nice. It has the orange in the middle. Orange. That's a weird color, yeah. huh? Yeah. Nice. It's pretty cool too. If you pet him, that's it. He's gonna become your best friend. Yeah. Bye, dog. Nice knowing you. I've had a fun 12 years. See you later. Yeah. 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 That's what right? we call convict. Yeah. Convict tiles. Yeah. They just have to color up. All of these are really nice. Gonyastria, yeah. Echnophoras, 
Very nice. Yeah, Very nice, Charlie. It looks really strong. Hmm. So I think that's it. We'll wrap up the video. How if you many boxes? Only six. Okay. Only six, but they fit a lot in six. Look at these guys. These guys know how to ship. He's just exploding. Wow. And this one too. Massive. If you guys saw anything today in the video that you're interested in, you can always shoot us an email. It does take us quite a bit of time to kind of go through these and to um, add them to the site. A bunch of them are going to get fragged. If you really, really want one, like they're going to be expensive. They cost us a lot, so it's going to be a lot on the other end too. But if there's one you must, must have before fragging, you can always email us and we will see. We'll do our best to accommodate you. And I think that's it. I'll give you one last sort of glimpse over the tank. See if there's anything that catches your eye before we say goodbye. Yeah, what you see is what you get. Goodbye. You can have the Colombian. <laughs> so like somber. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. That's why I'm going to say goodbye from now on in the, all the videos. Okay, thanks for watching. Goodbye.